Warsaw, Poland, at the famous monument for the ghetto fighters, the Warsaw Ghetto Fighters, but we're standing on the opposite side of the famous part because what we have here on the other side is the part with the fighters, but here we have the part with expulsion. And if you take a look, this is a depiction of the Jews being forced out of Jerusalem. Tisha B'Av 70, almost 2,000 years ago. But if you take a look at the very far right-hand part, in the back pushing them out are German Nazis, which started on Tisha B'Av. Unfortunately, had a, a continuity all the way through the Shoah. And so we now have the Kina written by Rabbi Shimon Schwab, a rabbi who was born in Germany, 1908, Frankfurt am Main, who studied in many of the Eastern European yeshivot, like Tells and Mir, studied even with the Chafetz Chaim of Radin. And because he was in Germany, he saw already by the early 30s, he couldn't stay, fled in 1936, first, to be in Baltimore later than in New York. And in 1959, Rabbi Schwab was approached by the late Rav Breuer, the famous Rav Breuer of the German Jewish community of Washington Heights to write a kina, to write an elegy for the Shoah. So I'll read the first stanza of this very moving kina. Azocher maski Rav Dor Dor Kodoshav he who remembers those who remember him, each generation its holy ones, since the time you have chosen us, may he remember the gruesome faith of the last generation. And then the last stanza, El Marach El Chai Marachim Adat Chanachim, Asher Lachamuot Nichsefet, Or Chadash Tazriach. O living God, merciful one, comfort your congregation that yearns for you so mightily. Let new light shine, let rays of glory grow, and may God's spirit hover. The last several years, we, the living Jewish community of Warsaw, Poland, and we are here, and we live in the shadow, but we live. We come here, on Tisha B'Av night, and we sit here after reading Eicha the first time in our synagogue, the Noshik synagogue, we come here and we read on Tisha B'Av night, a second time, the book of Eicha. Because the way that we fight for the future is by never forgetting the past. Let's see you in the